Let's make our pick. We know what it's going to be. Brian Petrovsky is the next one. Everything we've seen to this point looks promising. And he's the first draft pick of the series. Normal development. So overall, it's not like, you know, a home run draft or anything. I don't know that anybody here is going to be a high, high level starter. We'll have to see about Petrovsky. Little play action now. Petrovsky across the middle. It's Kenny Galladay. And the first touchdown pass of Petrovsky's career. Five yards out. Rudolph was open. Petrovsky's running this one. He'll get the touchdown. Diving in for six. Petrovsky with the deep ball. And caught off the rebound. Galladay. Touchdown. No challenge, third down and 13, and Petrovsky's gonna try it again. Wide open, got this one! Barkley, 10-5, touchdown! Up by five here at the 37, Petrovsky slings it downfield! Jawan Johnson, he's gone! To the air on first down, another deep shot for Thomas, and he makes the catch, and now he's gone! Giants will take over, and he hangs in there. Petrovsky deep, and Graham's got it on the first play. Play fake from the 36. Petrovsky up top, wants it all. He gets it all. Touchdown, Sean Graham. Clock runs all the way down to 25. Petrovsky fires to the end zone. Leaping, touchdown, Canarius Tony. And how sweet would it be to win a Super Bowl in Dallas with the Bengals running through the Gatorade. They are hyped up and ready to go. We're running through the Gatorade. How is everybody going to stay hydrated if we do this? Here's third and goal. Burrow throws. It's intercepted. It's Jabril Peppers. He's going the other way across the 40 and he's gone. That's going to be a pick six, a 98 yard return. What a start. Are the Bengals going to let us run away with this Super Bowl? We take over. Play fake Petrovsky. A lot of time. And he'll throw it fading away. Single coverage and caught by Graham. That's why we drafted him for plays like that. We're going empty on first down. Petrovsky gets it away. Back corner. It's caught. Touchdown. Joan Johnson. Ryan Petrovsky was the quarterback to help us get it done. He's your only receiver in the game. Off play action. It's going to be a touchdown. Josh Meadows has a Super Bowl score. Four and a half minutes left to go. Pressure off the edge. Wilson's intercepted. It's Jabril Peppers. And he's still on his feet. But as far as two-year runs are concerned, this is one of the best that we've been able to put together. Play fake on first down. Petrovsky will launch this one deep toward the end zone. And it's caught for the touchdown by Michael Thomas. Giving the receivers a clean release. You have Deion Myers slot right. Here's Petrovsky. He fires. Touchdown. It's Jason Weaver. Trying to increase the lead to the end zone for Johnson. And that will make it 28-3. That's a nice lead to have in the Super Bowl, right? The Giants get it done once again. And I would imagine Petrovsky is this game's MVP. And there you go, everybody. Now the seven-time Super Bowl champion New York Giants and the MVP, Ryan Petrovsky. Looks like Felix is going to be here on the bottom of the screen as Petrovsky hooks up with Graham deep down the field for the touchdown. 61 yards. 
three receivers third and 17 we don't give up on the idea of scoring a touchdown Dion Myers gets this one Petrovsky uh oh he was hit caught by Myers coming back for it and this team is just special it's the second time now we've gone back to back in this franchise this is what franchise is all about you don't get this anywhere else. First and 10, Petrovsky for Graham and Sertan's all over him. Second and three, Petrovsky downfield for Griffith. He's across midfield. Petrovsky dumps it over the middle to Khalil Jenkins. We have not used a timeout yet. At the sideline, it's caught by Griffith. We still won't use one. Ring number five on the line. They bring the house. Pass caught by Myers and he'll be stopped at the 25. 29 seconds caught by Myers. Timeout at the 18. We have one left. Petrovsky fires. Got his man. Touchdown, Warren Griffith. And the Giants have taken the lead. As time expires. DJ Spiegel, one last throw, broke it up and the Giants win it. What a game, absolutely the best game of this franchise. And it comes in the Super Bowl with an improbable victory by the New York Giants for their fifth championship of the series. Williams is slot right. I have no idea where Towns is. On first down, wide open is Graham. Breaking tackles inside the 10. Goal to go. Trying to get into the end zone. We trust Brian Petrovsky. Touchdown, Warren Griffith. The Giants have it back after a pretty poor punt. Petrovsky wants to win the game right here. And it's caught at the 10. Armstrong daggers New England and the Giants beat him again in the Super Bowl. Ring number six of the series. This is a big spot, four point game. And a throw on third down. Carroll, touchdown. And the Giants go up two scores. How about the rookie of the year, Jaden Carroll? What a role he's playing. And now, one yard to finish it. And this game is over. That is going to be ring number seven. The party has not ended yet for the New York Giants as they have won their seventh title of the series. We are now seven and two in Super Bowls. But you're, of course, also going to highlight the man who has tied Tom Brady now with his seventh Super Bowl title. And after one of the greatest careers to ever come across either of my channels, Brian Petrovsky will likely be retiring after one more game. At the age of 43, he's played the latter stage of his career with only one goal in mind, and that is to top Tom Brady's record of seven Super Bowl titles. And this eighth title has eluded Brian for quite some time. The team has changed considerably since his last Super Bowl title in 2034, when Jaden Carroll was a rookie running back. We've seen the team change a lot since then, and the Giants have been unable to return to the Super Bowl, having some heartbreaking playoff losses along the way and falling short in multiple NFC Championship games. But now, with Brian Petrovsky at 43 years old, they will take on the LA Chargers as Brian Petrovsky looks for one more title. He's already thrown the most passing yards in NFL history, passing Tom Brady, and He's thrown more touchdowns than Brady as well. Today, Petrovsky looks to take away Brady's last record. Alongside Brian Petrovsky in today's Super Bowl and series finale, 
we do have running back Jaden Carroll, who we saw join the team last episode and go through a whole decade in the league. And he's become the number one running back. And he last won a Super Bowl, of course, his rookie season when he was the Super Bowl MVP and Rookie of the Year. Michael Thomas, Rayshon Graham, Deion Myers, we've seen some great receivers in this series. But the new receivers alongside Petrovsky will be number 18, Zach Scyther, coming off his second 1,000-yard campaign. There's Kirk Phillips, number 87 out of Stanford. He's in his sixth season, and he does just about everything here. That is your Rayshon Graham replacement. Justin Rice, unfortunately, is hurt, and we'll see if he's able to play at all. I don't know if there's a scenario that's going to allow him to, but it would be huge if he could. If not, could be looking at Zach Jones filling in as the deep threat. He's 5'8", 178, but he can fly. And at tight end, it's Damian Jackson, continuing a trend of phenomenal receiving tight ends we've had throughout the series. Jackson replaces Warren Griffith, who was the starter for a very long time. The offensive line is solid. I'd say it's above average, but we've had many better offensive lines in this series. And defensively, I think this is what you can point at as being the biggest reason why it's taken us so long to return to the Super Bowl. We don't have the elite defense that we once did but we certainly have some standouts. Edge rusher Kyle Frost is a player we drafted in last episode, and he's developed into one of the best edge rushers in the league. I also made some big trades in that last episode. We have cornerback Braden Adams, only 28 years old, and he's a lockdown corner. There's Kirk Galloway at linebacker, Jalen Bates at safety. Can this team get it done? against the Chargers. I don't imagine we'll recognize anybody from this team. The quarterback is Brian Drescher. He's a really solid quarterback out of Notre Dame, coming off a 43 touchdown passing season. One of the best quarterbacks in the league. Running back Larry Greenfield from Wisconsin and receivers Keith Smith and DJ Donald. This is it. Final Super Bowl of the series. Brian Petrovsky looking to make history. I never expected any of our teams in these rebuilds to win eight championships. And that's what we're trying to do today. I thought last episode was going to be the true finale. Couldn't have that happen, not with a Super Bowl here, a chance to celebrate the career of Brian Petrovsky and end this series the right way. Thank you for all the support. This is episode 90. It is going to be the true finale. Afterwards, I will do some simulating. I just want to see where Carroll ends up as far as career rushing yards goes. Nice job breaking the tackle there. Greenfield close to a first down. I know I'm going to struggle here as they don't put names under players in this uh, camera. I wish they did. I don't know all the numbers well enough. First down there on the run. Third down for the Chargers. Near midfield. They need three. And that is so close. I think they got it. Dresher. Spins to his left, got his man, there's 13 yards. They'll run this one, big opening, and that should be a first down for Greenfield. Chargers driving all the way into the red zone, very good opening for them. Dresher on first down, looks to throw this one, complete to the six. And another run that will go for a touchdown. It's Greenfield capping off the drive. We've seen some fantastic Super Bowls in this series, and now the final one for Brian Petrovsky. He fires downfield, almost getting intercepted. I can't believe this is it. 
What a run with Petrovsky. Second down, completing underneath, and that's caught by Jackson. Third down, got it to Jackson again as we convert. I think I just saw a player on this defense we have to check on. Petrovsky sailing downfield at 43 years old. It's overthrown. He had him. He just doesn't have the accuracy he once did some 20 years ago. Thankfully, the punt is not blocked. But it's a great start for the Chargers. Now let's go check on that player. Never mind. I think it's his brother. An early deficit here for the Giants as we play the Eli Manning Draft Day Bowl and the Chargers get Greenfield going again. Already 40 plus yards for him and the touchdown. Second down and six. Back to Larry Greenfield for a first. I'm pretty sure Matthew Hearns retired a long time ago. I just saw a linebacker named Hearns and I'm like, wait a minute. Could it be? We've gone through so many seasons here. My perception of time is completely busted. Greenfield, nice cut. Navigating his way across the 45. They'll throw it now. Dresher downfield. It's incomplete. Good coverage over the top. That's big. Third and seven. Pressure getting there, and we will get off the field. A big stand for the defense. Ryan Petrovsky and the Giants take over. 11 seconds to go in the opening quarter as Petrovsky goes down. We've seen some dominant Super Bowls in this series, but it's the Chargers who have been dominant through one quarter. Jaden Carroll finding the opening, and he gets nine. Now Petrovsky on third down. It's incomplete, intended for Kirk Phillips. Slow start for Brian. Wow, the Chargers missed a field goal. I should be less surprised. But they miss a kick after getting the football back. So we're going back to the Giants. Oh my, a 62-yard simulated touchdown. Thought about simulating a few more plays in this one. Partially because we don't know the teams that well, but miss a big highlight like that. It's now a 7-7 game, and the Chargers have it again driving. They've had uh, a lot of control of this game, time of possession-wise. And they'll try to finish this one off. Greenfield for a few. Come on, defense. you got to step up here on third down. Quick throw. And he's got the first down. Dresher from the 20 throws the Chargers inside the 10. He's 12 of 14. Loves throwing to Boyd. He's the starting tight end. We haven't had an answer for him. Dresher in trouble. Got it out there. Caught by Boyd. I thought he was going to get hit from behind there. Great job by Drescher. Three minutes to go now in the first half as Greenfield reaches but does not break the plane. One more play on third and goal. Greenfield is in for the touchdown and the Chargers retake the lead. Brian Petrovsky trying to help the Giants here in a two minute drill. Stepping up, he can still run, but won't take as many hits as his younger days. Two minutes to go now in the first half. Petrovsky slings it complete. Cut by Kirk Phillips. On first down to the outside. A catch and run getting out of bounds, Zach Jones. Come on, Brian, get into a rhythm. He's completed four passes in this half. We just saw two of them. Now a fake to Carroll. Time to throw. And now running out, Petrovsky. Deep downfield, intercepted. Got too greedy, and the Chargers will have it. Unfortunately, that is still part of his game. 
Just trying to do way too much. The Chargers have a chance now before halftime as that catch is made right in front of corner Braden Adams. Hey, there's no guaranteed storybook finishes in these series. That is for sure. Here is Dresher, short, caught again by Marquise Boyd. I mean, Andy McKenzie in my Gophers dynasty never won a national championship. That's still one that I feel like is one of the ones that really got away in that Gophers dynasty. Ooh, not on the same page. Brian Drescher firing downfield on third and three. And it's caught with one hand for the touchdown. Please say the penalties on them. No. Garrison Creer mossed for six and the Chargers open up a two score lead. We'd all love to see number eight for Brian Petrovsky, but it won't be easy. A lot of work to do now and he never saw the rush. That was a rough half of football. This Chargers team is really good. They controlled the clock. Scored three touchdowns. We need a massive turnaround. That ain't much right there for Brian. This is not normal for him. I'd hate to see him go out like this, even though it's been a great career, win or lose. Petrovsky from the pocket. A couple yards to Carroll. Fake to Carroll on second down. Petrovsky completes. And it's Kirk Phillips. Hand off to Carroll. Big opening. And it closes as he makes his way up to the Chargers 46. Toss out the Jaden Carroll. Cutting downhill. He's got the opening. Breaks a tackle. And is bumped out finally inside the 20. If we're to have a chance in this game... Maybe things have to run through number 10. Petrovsky got his man. That'll go for a first down. We'll take that first down Phillips, who seems to be his favorite passing target. Fake to Carroll. Petrovsky rolling away from pressure, but he won't try to do too much. On the carry, Carroll almost got in, but he's denied. This needs to be a touchdown. The only receiver is Zach Scyther. We run it. Carroll does not get in. He's a yard shy. And the Giants will bring out the field goal team. Chargers take over. Quick start to the drive as they pick up 14. Chargers at their own 39. There's some pressure and batted down. Almost intercepted. Third and six. Dresher downfield. Got his man. What are we doing down there? Creer is just not good enough to cover Smith at all. And now he shouldn't be. We had Anton Patton in the slot, and he's one of our best corners. Now he'll be on the outside as the Chargers run it downhill, and they're inside the 15. Toss out. With a block, it's a touchdown. And the Chargers are just dominating this defense. We now trail by 18 points in the Super Bowl. Petrovsky fakes the Jaden Carroll and then throws it to him. Four yards. Petrovsky. Oh, come on. That was a great throw. Free rusher and off the hands of a receiver, Zach Jones. Fourth down. We have the Chargers backed up. This is a third and 16. 
And they're able to avoid a safety, but we'll get the ball back at least. Are there any miracles remaining for Brian Petrovsky playing his final game? Intercepted! Intended for Scyther! And that's a pick six. Of all the ways to go out, you certainly don't want it to be like this. I put a lot of time into that intro, Brian. You can't go down like this in the Super Bowl. A run on third down. Carroll spins ahead to the 31. We have to be going for it. Don't even think about the punter. Why? This is the last way I wanted this series to end. Petrovsky intercepted again. The Chargers tack on a couple more touchdowns. This is ugly. It appears we're going to have to settle for Brian tying Tom Brady unless he decides to come back for his age 44 season, which I suppose is still possible. Petrovsky extending, throws a wobbler that falls short of the end zone. Petrovsky on third down. Oh, no. And that sack may be the last snap of Brian Petrovsky's great NFL career. But it's going to end without a very good ending at all. Giants destroyed here in the Super Bowl. I suppose when this is a possibility, it makes the wins a little more sweeter, right? Or a lot more. That's not how I saw this playing out. I thought we'd get a close game at least. But the Chargers have emerged victorious. And the Giants just aren't the team they once were. And Brian Petrovsky isn't the quarterback he once was. His final game in the NFL, if this is it, was a three interception performance with no touchdowns. Very uncharacteristic for him. I, I, that was not fun. The Chargers win 49-13. to They are the newest champions of the series. We've seen a lot of different champions here in recent years. Although a little dynasty being created here by the LA Rams. That's two Super Bowls. It's not quite a dynasty with two championships. But still they become the top team perhaps in the conference. So here we go. Retirements at the end of 2043. Is this it? Lorenzo Knighton retires. Brian. Brian. Brian Petrovsky. No way are you coming back. There's no way. Shenard Graham retired after 20 seasons. Unless he's somewhere in this list of players, but he shouldn't be. You're kidding me! He's coming back again! I cannot believe it. This is just a joke at this point. I gotta say, though, there is part of me that's really glad that won't be his final game. I tried to bring him back, but he just turned down, like triple what his fair offer was here's how the most recent draft for us went and it looks like we have a few players in the 70s jeremy bryan first round linebacker we could have used a linebacker so that gives us a boost and he looks really good la michael justice a defensive tackle normal dev but 88 power moves here in the third round huge win and he's strong. Gerald Crowley, receiver. Deep threat. Not bad, CPU. We have another season to simulate now. Brian Petrovsky at 76 overall just can't stop playing. He's played for half his life now. He's entering his 23rd season. And as long as he stays healthy this year, 
He is going to reach a passing mark I don't think any quarterback in real life will ever reach. I'm seriously shocked he did not retire after that. I mean, he's 44 years old. Like, he's got to retire. But I suppose that was an ugly Super Bowl, and it would be a terrible way for a legend to go out. So Brian Petrovsky comes back, and in his age 44 season, we will be in the wild card round of the playoffs, okay? Put together a good team again, put together a playoff season. Brian Petrovsky, 37-97. I wonder if that gets him to that number. 33 touchdowns, 8 picks. Let's see. Career passing yards. He did it! 100 thousand that is unbelievable Jaden Carroll goes for 1515 touchdowns Damian Jackson is the leading receiver we had less passing yards so it was harder to have standouts and defensively a decent pass rush nothing special kind of disappointing there from Kyle Frost fair amount of interceptions in there all right, to the playoffs once again. And it's a wild card round defeat against the Chicago Bears. Brian Petrovsky throws three touchdowns in this game. It was a close one. Jaden Carroll did everything he could. He's put up some incredible stats. But that is going to end this season for the Giants. So where does that leave Brian Petrovsky now? First off, the Saints win the Super Bowl this season. They defeat the Kansas City Chiefs. Cowboys were really good this year. Their quarterback was the MVP. And for the New York Giants, after 23 years of Brian Petrovsky as the starting quarterback, he has a decision to make. And let's find out what it was. This guy is unreal. Brian, what more do you need to do? Down to 74 overall now. He's 45 years old. Seriously, why are you still playing? I signed him to a two-year deal. Like, he turned down every offer I gave him here in this round until I made it two years. Because he's literally playing forever. I just simmed to the next season right away here. Not really checking out a whole lot, but I guess we have multiple hidden dev high rated players. What is going on? Can you just win a championship so Brian can feel content retiring? Well, we know now that no quarterback I ever have in any series is ever going to top this. Brian Petrovsky has played. What is this? Year 24? We win the division. Great. Another division title for Brian Petrovsky and the Giants. He bounces back yardage-wise. 4,232 touchdowns. Jaden Carroll, another huge season for him. 1,500 yards again. That's pretty good. Double-digit sacks for two players. And then six interceptions for Glenn Bullocks. Fantastic. Now, just go get to the Super Bowl. You have my attention. 41-0 over the Carolina Panthers. Last time this team won a playoff game 41-0, I wasn't as happy. And we beat Washington to go to the NFC Championship. Where we're going to take on a seven-seed team. And now we're going to do it all over again. The Giants are returning. This series and the ending has been the weirdest thing I've ever recorded for the channel. By far. I can't believe I'm still here playing these games. Going through these seasons. How have we done it? How? I haven't forced anything. It's just happening like this. Three playoff wins. And now we take on the Las Vegas Raiders. So Brian has another chance at his eighth title. Is this video going to be as long as the last one I did?
Dallas, Texas. Home of a team that struggled against us quite a lot in this series. And there he is, looking good at age 45, Brian Petrovsky. Wait, is he 45 or 46 now? I can't believe we have another Super Bowl, but at the same time, knowing how that other one ended. Oh, I'm glad that's not it. Brian Petrovsky comes back again and again. He's 45 years old. So here are the Raiders quickly. Jackson Schmidt is the quarterback. He's a pocket passer. Zaire Birch. He worries me because he has 96 morale, 95 speed, but he's a 99 overall running back and he doesn't have a weakness it appears. Maybe he's not great at catching the football. Actually he can, just route running isn't great. So he's an elite running back. A receiver, it's Steve Mitchell. 98 speed, Kevin Hines, and Zach Jones, who was on our team for the last Super Bowl. Defensively, James McMillan along the D-line. Josh Gabriel, he was with us. He was a draft pick in the last episode. Oh, man. Joey Carrington, Spencer McMillan. Yeah, it's a pretty solid team. I don't think it's as good as the Chargers. But here we are, another Super Bowl. What a closeout to this series. The series that won't go away. The Giants have it. And Brian Petrovsky starts another Super Bowl by dumping it off for a gain of a couple. So now, seven wins, three losses. This would be his 11th Super Bowl appearance. Ball at the 24-yard line. Petrovsky, he's going deep, and he got his man. That one is hauled in by Damian Jackson at the Raider 40. On second down, Petrovsky, how'd he get out of there? He can evade the rush pretty good for a guy 45 years old. We ran a draw play here. We had that weird uh, dancing glitch at the line where the players just dance around instead of uh, snapping the ball. So, kind of a disappointing end to this drive. The Raiders take over and we got heavy pressure on the first snap and that is Kyle Frost. Third down on their opening drive. Raiders get it to third and 10. Downfield, a wobbler, and well out of bounds. I want to see Petrovsky throw a touchdown in this game. If he's coming back for a 45th season or 45 years old season, I don't even know anymore. This series and these last few recording sessions have completely overwhelmed me. To the left with Carroll, not much. Third and eight for Brian Petrovsky. He's still got the deep ball, and this one's caught! First down to the Raider 20, Zach Scyther. And the Giants are in business. All right, might have to settle for three unless we can make one more play, and Petrovsky is wrapped up for the sack. That's still a lead here in the Super Bowl. Let's move forward in this game. We've traded punts a few possessions. It's now a 3-0 game. Giants have it. Running game doesn't look promising today. Second down. Petrovsky to the outside for Carroll. You got to get him involved somehow. He's too good. The fake to Carroll on first down. Petrovsky has a man, but missed him. I think that was a lineman. What are we doing? On second down, spinning to his left, an athletic throw to Scyther. Third and two, Petrovsky feeling the rush. He turns up field. First down and more. Petrovsky slides at the eight. What a run! Never seen a 45-year-old quarterback run like that. 
I've also never seen a 45-year-old quarterback. First and 10. First and goal, rather. It's a run to the right. Not much for Carroll. Right now, Brian Petrovsky is older than real-life Tom Brady, who isn't even 45 until August 3rd. Second and goal. The run with Carroll. Run it in for a touchdown. And the Giants go up two scores. I love this. Jumping ahead in the second quarter. The Raiders have the football. They're inside the 20 trying to get on the scoreboard finally. We've been able to control the clock in this Super Bowl. Schmidt gets it away and it's caught at the four. And that's Zach Jones. That was so close. I thought once we hit him there we could maybe get an interception. Oh, what a run. Touchdown. The Raiders make it close. That's Zaire Birch. Now a two-minute drill. Giants at their own 40. And Petrovsky got his man who wisely stays inbounds. Well, I wish he had gotten out at the end there, but got some yardage out of it. First down. With 44 seconds on the clock. Petrovsky, a laser, and a first down to Damian Jackson. Injury timeout, Gabriel's hurt. Big loss for the Raiders, and that stopped the clock. 27 yards out, Petrovsky completes at the 20, and it's a first down to Phillips. And perhaps our greatest enemy now, the EA. Time management. We're 13 yards out. Petrovsky completes it, and he's in bounds as he's tackled. And the Raiders will keep it a three-point game as we finish the first half. We move along now to the second half. Opening drive. Raiders have it. And they're only down by three as that pass is hauled in. They get a first down. Jackson Schmidt chased and had to uh, set his feet to throw that. You got to throw that off balance. That's proper form in that situation. Empty now on second down. Pressure. Sacked. We send four. Dumped off to Birch. And I'm not sure that's field goal range. But it was. And the game is tied. Well, we actually have a chance in this game at least. Very close game. Neither team running the football very well. There goes Scyther across the 50. Being chased at the 30 and tripped up. Stepping up here in the Super Bowl. Zach Scyther coming through. He might be over 100 yards now. Ball at the 29. Here's Petrovsky to the air. Off the mark. Scyther has five catches for a buck 26. Petrovsky escaping the pocket and going down at the 23. Pressure sent. Throwing into the pressure there, Scyther. Up to the 10. They give this one to Jaden Carroll and he dives into the end zone. There it is. The go-ahead touchdown by the star running back. Now we got to keep the Raiders from matching. Late third quarter, Jackson Schmidt in trouble again, never saw the pressure. We're overwhelming their offensive line in this game. I like it. Third down and 17. And it's short. Tackle made. We get to play now with the lead, but we're backed up at our own two. Please be smart. Hand off Carroll. Trying to bounce it. That wasn't smart. That was generous forward progress, though. 28 seconds to go now in the quarter. And movement. I don't care if that's on us. There's not much to lose. Worth a try to get them to jump, right? Let's pretend that's what we were doing. They move the ball back like a couple inches, maybe. No! Safety! Come on. 
Now just a five point lead. Third quarter almost done. Jackson Schmidt with a strike across the middle. Short shaken up. He's been one of our best pass rushers in this game and now he's off the field as they give it to Birch for a first down to end the third quarter. Toss out to Zaire Birch with great speed. He turns the corner. I thought he might lose a couple, but he's just that quick. Birch inside. Through an opening. He's got the first. They give this one to Birch, and he's loose again. Out to the 30. First down. They give it to Birch. Falling forward through contact as players are leaving left and right. Third and three. They spread the defense out. Schmidt short. Got it to Birch. One of the biggest plays of the day is right here. Third and six. Raiders need at least the three. Schmidt. He throws. That is intercepted. Take that back. All the way. Let's go! The Giants have a touchdown on the interception, and that's Braden Adams. One of the final moves I made in this series was to bring him here from Kansas City because this defense needed a dominant presence once again in the secondary. We put a little heat on the quarterback, and disruption is production. We've had a lot of defensive MVPs in Super Bowls in this series. Jabril Peppers and Jason Quinton have both done it in games where they had pick sixes. Could Braden Adams join that group? Schmidt on first down. Oh, what a play! That was incredible. I've never seen that animation. And now I can't watch the replay because uh, one more Super Sim glitch here at Madden 22 for old time's sake. Dumped off. Off the mark from Schmidt. He just threw the lineman into him, though. Just a really disrespectful play. I love it. Third and 17. A lot of pressure here on the Raiders. Schmidt dumps it off. And that's not a first down. They'll go for it now. They have four receivers in the game. Schmidt needs a play. Looks deep for it. It's incomplete. Braden Adams breaks it up and will take over. We're five and a half minutes away from it actually happening after all. Hand off Carroll. Maybe two. 28 yards in this game. The handoff goes to Carroll. Good block from Scyther. First down. A fake on first down. Petrovsky with a throwback. But Carroll stepped out of bounds. They had something cool set up there for a moment. 427 left to go. Does Petrovsky have a touchdown in this game? I forget now. Carroll tough running. Good job. I'm not sure if he does. Carroll's ran in two and we have a pick six. Petrovsky could really play two Super Bowls in a row without a touchdown. But he can't change it on this play. It's intercepted in the end zone. And the Raiders keep it a two-score game. They still have a little bit of hope. And most of it relies on a quick touchdown, leaving time to get the football back. On second down, Schmidt completes underneath, and there's a big first down. To the air on first and ten. Schmidt completes, and a first down goes to Kevin Hines. Last play before the two-minute warning. Schmidt throws again for Hines. A minute 48 left to go. Here's third down. Schmidt throws toward the end zone again. This one's broken up. Could this be the play that seals it for the Giants? Fourth and six. Schmidt going to the end zone again. And it's broken up by Adams. 
Give him the MVP. The Giants take over. It is almost over. Third and six. Petrovsky hands off and Carroll is stuffed. We can't run out the clock quite yet. That's a deep ball from Jackson Schmidt. Intercepted! Braden Adams hauls it in. And now Brian Petrovsky can come out. And I'm hopeful that he's taking his last snaps. What a game for Braden Adams. And Brian Petrovsky at age 45 is about to do what no quarterback or player has ever done before. He's already thrown for 100,000 yards. He's almost thrown for as many touchdowns as Barry Bonds has home runs. And now, he is officially an eight-time Super Bowl champion. And the Giants bring home one final title to end this franchise. In improbable fashion, Brian Petrovsky has topped Tom Brady. This makes him perhaps the most legendary player to ever come across the channels. This is a quarterback career unlike any other. That's his eighth Lombardi. I'm so glad he doesn't go out a loser though in the Super Bowl. Especially with how that game ended, that first one, with all those interceptions. He doesn't have a touchdown here in this game, but he played better. Still had a couple bad interceptions, but we made up for it. Scyther and Adams, to me, were the two MVPs. Obviously, Braden Adams, you give him the award. That was so cool. I hope that was worth the wait, everybody, because it's been a long wait to see this eighth title. Brian Petrovsky refusing to retire, but now he's accomplished everything there is to accomplish. Adams is your Super Bowl MVP. Let's check on some career stats. Brian Petrovsky, eight-time Super Bowl winner. 104,000 yards. Wait a minute. Did he pass Barry Bonds? I think he did pass Barry Bonds now. 779 touchdowns. Wow. He's thrown 12,000 passes. Jaden Carroll almost 18,000 yards. That's way up there in the rushing leaderboards all time. And he's done all that while Petrovsky was trying to get back to the Super Bowl. He put a 14,000 yard lead on Tom Brady. He put over 100 more touchdowns on the board. Probably a few more rushing touchdowns too, I'd imagine. And Jaden Carroll has now surpassed Walter Payton in rushing yards. And now he's second in rushing touchdowns all time behind Saquon Barkley. That seriously needs to be it right the greatest quarterback career of all time cemented I'm not even convinced that when I click x that I'm going to see Brian Petrovsky's name I'm not convinced where are the Giants Ben Bryant retired Kirk Galloway retired. He wasn't on the team any longer. Don't even do this. No. What more do you need? Dan Campbell and Cliff Kingsbury were coordinators of the Broncos. They've both retired. Mike Vrabel has retired as a player and a coach. The man is 46 years old and has not retired from the NFL. He is the 70, what did that say? The 73rd ranked quarterback and he hasn't retired. To be fair though, I signed him to a two year deal. I'm happy that he's honoring that contract. Even after his eighth title, 
he had to come back for his age 46 season. I'm having to do a lot to make him start now. Like, I simulated the offseason, the CPU released him. I had to add him back to the roster. We win 12 and 5. I mean, we just keep. What does that say? One last hurrah? All right, I'm clicking that. Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> You're kidding me. No. <laughs> it's talking to Brian Petrovsky about Davey and Jackson retiring. We have to send him out with the ring. Yeah, last year's is already getting rusty. I don't think rings rust. Do they? Come on. I saw Brian Petrovsky in that scene, and I thought it was him saying, this is finally it. Oh, it was. Just for a different player. This series, this ending, is so bizarre. And hilarious. Well, we open the playoffs against the Minnesota Vikings. Here we go. And we weren't able to get it done. The Vikings beat the Giants in the playoffs. I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm like out of things to say. I've lost a lot of games, but this is up there as one that hurts the most. Damien had a look on his face I'll never forget. And that's why I'm going to come back next year and win it all for him. Damian Jackson has retired. Great tight end. Helped us out in that Super Bowl. We've ended the 2046 season with the Baltimore Ravens back on top of the NFL. As they win against the Chicago Bears. Brian Petrovsky has a decision to make. Does he want to become a 47-year-old starting quarterback? Let's find out. Where are the Giants? All these players retiring, and none of them are Brian Petrovsky. Is he going to legit play until he's 50 years old? He's a 70 overall. He's a 47-year-old man. What more is there to do? You're at normal development. Brian, do you know how many times I've had to sit here getting kicked off the EA servers because you won't retire? This happens twice every single offseason. Every one. The Giants went 8 and 9 this year and missed the playoffs altogether. For only the second time in Brian Petrovsky's NFL career, and he still put up his stats. 34 more touchdowns. Jaden Carroll, 1,400 more yards. Ethan Melvin was the leading receiver. Who is Ethan Melvin? Really good tight end. The replacement for Damian Jackson. Wow great ratings we're almost at the end of franchise mode it only goes 30 seasons brian petrovsky has now played 27 if i scroll through his career stats i just learned that it cuts off i think it shows a max of like 17 seasons here i literally can't scroll through all of his seasons they're missing nine of them or 10 something, I don't know. Is a 23,000 yard lead enough? 843 touchdowns. Someone wanted me to check on Shenard Graham's career, by the way. I'm not sure how much I can do to check it out, but he finished with 82,000 yards and 634 touchdowns. Truly phenomenal. Jaden Carroll has become the all-time leading rusher. And it didn't even take this year to do it, it looks like. So, best uh, quarterback of all time and best running back of all time, it looks like. Way more touchdowns and yards than anybody ever. Wow, somebody actually got close to 20,000 yards here. 
but no one's catching in touchdowns. 1451. Alfonso Turner, 37 year old receiver. How about that? That's really cool. Oh, yeah, I can check out the legacy leaderboard if I wanted to show off uh, Shenard Graham. I did want to get around to that. Still, oh, maybe this is the last thing that Petrovsky's chasing the legacy score. Brady's got him beat there because of like MVPs and stuff like that. Maybe that's the last thing for Petrovsky. Shenard Graham, no Super Bowls in his career, and he played for the Dolphins. Wow. Him and Marino have a lot to talk about. But one thing missing from the conversation, of course. This is the last episode. I don't care how long this episode ends up being. The Chiefs win the Super Bowl this year. They've been rebuilt all over again after the Patrick Mahomes era came to an end. Brian Bush, back-to-back -back MVPs for the Titans. It is now the 2047 offseason. And we have more retirements coming up. Brian Petrovsky is 47 years old. Anybody from the Giants? Jaden Carroll has retired and Brian Petrovsky hasn't. Come on, we've gone through his entire career. All of it. Brian Petrovsky won't retire. The CPU's been re-signing him too. I'm paying attention. He's a 66 overall. And he's coming back for his age... 48 season there are over 100 quarterbacks now that are rated higher than him Brian why are you doing this what is this accomplishing he literally just signed a $10,000 signing bonus this season the New York Giants selected a quarterback in the draft Mitch Weaver they made him a first round pick the first first round pick since Brian Petrovsky 27 years ago. And it looks like we've returned to the playoffs this season. After one year away, Brian Petrovsky, 20 touchdowns, so he didn't play every game this year. 12 interceptions. Mitch Weaver learning from the greatest quarterback of all time. Now that there is a young quarterback ready to take over, maybe Petrovsky will feel a little more content retiring. At this point, I'm not even checking out like the roster or anything. Like I haven't done anything for this team. Brian Petrovsky won't retire. He's at 863 touchdowns. It's enough. You're kidding me. We're back in the Super Bowl. I have more to do. We are in the Super Bowl again. We're facing the Tennessee Titans. How do we even get here? 29 to 7, 28 to 7. Defense really showing up. And we're not done. We're simming this to the third or fourth quarter, okay? I can't believe how long this is taking. It's going to throw off my upload schedule this week, without a doubt. And we are dominating this team right now. 24 to 7? I thought we might get destroyed. There's like nothing to even watch from this one. Brian Petrovsky is on his way to his ninth Super Bowl title. We're just putting these records completely out of reach. How is he still good? Like, why is he still simulating this well? We're going to run it here on third down. Not much. Titans trying to get back in it. They've driven all the way down the field now. They're down 20, so a lot has to happen here inside five minutes. On the keeper, that's Brian Bush. And he gets stopped at the four. How good has this defense gotten, though? If we were this dominant in the playoffs... Fourth and inches now for Tennessee. A fullback dive against Russ Watson. And it worked. On second and goal. Bush can run this in. 
as the Titans make it a two-score game. The running back is Alexander Brown, wearing Tavares Town's number 34. And one more for the first down, and that is going to do it. Ryan Petrovsky won't just top Tom Brady and win his eighth Super Bowl championship, but he plays into age 48. And he's going to win his ninth Super Bowl title with the New York Giants. Brian, let this be your last play. Please. Nine titles. You've seen it all. You've done it all. There's nothing left to accomplish. One more field goal. That's a great way to end the Super Bowl. 34-21 Giants win. Brian Petrovsky. Can you even remember like your third or fourth Super Bowl at this point? You remember the first one, the last one, but the middle has got to be a complete blur, right? Hey, in this one, though, he threw three touchdowns. He might be a 48-year-old Super Bowl MVP. I think I'd be shocked if he wasn't. And there it is. MVP for Brian Petrovsky. I want to say that makes him a three-time Super Bowl MVP, if I'm not mistaken. There's two. Second one came against the Patriots. First one against the Bills. Three-time Super Bowl MVP. The 2048 season is now complete. I don't even know what to say. Brian Petrovsky has signed a deal with the Giants at age 49. He is almost 50 years old. And he signed a contract. I don't know where Brian Petrovsky is right now. I think he might have suddenly retired. He is now missing from the roster, the free agent pool any NFL roster, and the legacy leaderboards. He's not there anymore. If we check out the NFL records, he's of course there atop all these categories. No scrolling necessary. But I can no longer find him anywhere in the franchise. Now, there can be some surprise second wave retirements in free agency, but I've been simulating too much to notice that like I go right past that stage and the retirements get wiped from the transaction log I think sometime in the off season okay there when I simulated through preseason it released him from the roster so that's what happened the CPU released him because he's like a 64 overall quarterback. But now he's not anywhere in the free agent quarterbacks at all. And I think he would have been higher rated than some of them. I hope it didn't just like delete him from the free agent pool. But I think that might have been what happened. If that's the last we see of Brian, that is a disappointing end. I've been checking on the roster, making sure he's on there. But the CPU cut him after preseason. Looks like he's nowhere to be seen. We're just going to say that he retires at age 49 ahead of week one. Finally saying that it's been enough. The Giants went 4-13 this year without their star quarterback Brian Petrovsky. It's the worst year in three decades for the New York Giants. That's disappointing, though, for me to see it end like that. I really don't know where uh, he is on the legacy, though. Like, he never got to fully retire and become part of the Hall of Fame. He just kind of disappeared. The Chicago Bears have won Super Bowl 84. And we have now completed the 2049 season. And I don't see him anywhere 
in any of the retirements. I don't think he'll be popping up here again for us. What happened? Did I get fired? Currently a free agent coach. I think uh, Russ Watson may have gotten fired here if we're having a bad season. Oh no, he just retired. Okay. We have finished 2050. And I believe that is the end of franchise mode. But why does it say we're in week nine? It was quite a run for Russ Watson. Nine Super Bowl championships. A 30-year coaching career. We will retire from the league. If you retire for good, your progress will be lost. Well, then I'm not retiring. Why would I want my progress to be lost? Dashboard of out, and now we're back in. I'm not even sure how the last season ended. All right. I think we actually have a Super Bowl we can check on here. Chicago wins it. There was no 2050 season. What happened? I tried to do some simulating. It kicks you off because of the servers. I get back in. I think that it just ended mid-season. But it's showing here like MVP, Coach of the Year, all the awards you would expect. It says that Russ Watson is retiring. Madden is broken. Well, that means we have reached the end of franchise mode. Wow. That was quite a grind. Great franchise. The most successful team I've put together now. We've had some good ones on this channel, but we've won nine Super Bowl titles. And now the most decorated quarterback career of all time. Even if it just totally took him off the legacy leaderboards. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, simulated like that. But while we don't have... Uh, him on this screen we all know what happened he played until he was 48 years old going into the age 49 season that's when uh he just kind of walked away it looks like but he walks away with nine super bowl titles 115,887 passing yards 863 passing touchdowns truly the most amazing quarterback career we've had not the most satisfying ending though seeing him not choose to retire on his own terms i'm checking out the season stats too and like these are all missing like this last year is completely glitched everything's gone there was no super bowl it's over it says there's supposed to be a game can i change coaches or something okay we got a schedule here does it go into the postseason? It does. So there's supposed to be a Super Bowl. Can I force a Super Bowl tie? But it looks like that will actually end the series. Wow. All the way through franchise mode. Brian Petrovsky with a weird ending to his career, but he wouldn't retire. The game basically forced him to. I wish I had just cut players though in that last stage because i knew there was a chance of him getting released again i've had to add him to the roster already but they had him there in the free agent pool but hey that was an awesome ride here with the new york giants franchise rebuild i hope you enjoyed it there were many more fantastic players and great games to come out of this series and it had some of the most fun quarterback gameplay i would say with quarterbacks being more dynamic outside the pocket and Brian Petrovsky doing things we never saw from past quarterbacks in this series. With this series wrapped up, we can now look ahead to what's coming on Madden 23 when I imagine I will be doing another franchise rebuild like this. But I'm going to be working on some other things now to fill in the gap with this series being complete. Looking to do a Perry Cummings Road to Glory one season deal excited about that it's the next thing i look to like start up here i want to have that going this weekend i don't have to do any slider testing or anything so it shouldn't be too bad i just want to go get some clips of perry cummings from the brown series i want to play nfl street 2 and maybe do some 
fun one-off videos. Like uh, a couple of years ago, I was doing like these fantasy draft videos that a lot of you enjoyed. And I might do some more of those. But with that, everybody, my time with the New York Giants has come to an end. We won nine Super Bowl titles, had the longest quarterback career ever. And I had a great time throughout this series. And we put together some incredible teams. Amazing offense and defense together. We dominated this league for so long. But now with nine titles under our belt, we've reached the end of what appears to be like a broken franchise mode. Thank you again for supporting this series. It's awesome seeing everybody get into it and the players that we all get behind and the stories that unfold here in franchise mode. It's special even when the game isn't quite where we want it to be. I'll have more franchise content coming your way soon on the channel. But have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all with the Perry Cummings Road to Glory, it looks like. Have a great day.